Hello guys, today I'm going to be reading El Duffo by C.C. Bell, part 5, so let's get started. 9. Ah, summer. Three months of freedom. Three months of bliss. Three months of not wearing the phonic gear. But summer ends as it always does with the beginning of a new year of school. Yawn. Ugh, time to wear this again. Sigh. Fourth grade. I can't believe it. Are you excited? Um, maybe a little. Actually excited for, except for the phonic year. I'm very excited. A new year. Just like in previous years, our morning start in the gym. I see Ginny, but I avoid her. I want to sit with kids who don't know me. Maybe I can pass myself off of, as a hearing person. But I'm not very good at doing this. Hi, Bon. Hi, I'm Bonnie. What's your name? I'm Cece. Well, hey, I told everyone else, so I might as well tell you. My grandpa makes pie. Oh, cool. What? Uh, I said my grandpa may die. Oh, oh, I'm so, so sorry. That's okay. Say, wait a minute. I can't believe I did that. All right, are you deaf? Is that what the chords are for? Oh, no, because I know sign language help what's wrong with sign language nothing but some of the people doing sign languages at me some people put on a real show when they start signing almost like men memes see see is anyone watching this and some people end up saying funny ballet stuff when they sign you are special please stop and sure enough when somebody signs at you like that everybody else stares at you Ah, I wish I could turn into El Defo in these situations. I do not know these mysteries, hand, hand signal, stranger, but I do have great power. I can read your lips. Go. If only it were that simple. Some lip reader I am makes pie. Good grief. Sniff. Back at home after a, fir, fir, after a long first day of school. Well, hi, how was your school? It was okay, but some girls started signing at me. Oh, Cece, I know you don't like it when p people do that. She was probably just excited to meet someone like you and wants to share what she, what she knows with you. Maybe you should learn sign language. It would give you a new way to talk to people. It could be fun. Mom, I don't want to. I heard that there's a sign language class that just started up at church. Oh, no. Mama, please don't make me do that. Let me look into it first, sweetie. It might be, it might, re, it might really be useful to you, Mom. No. One evening, a few weeks later, Mom takes me to a cl classroom at our church. We meet our sign language teacher, Mrs. Blankship, who I admit is very nice. Hello and welcome to sign language. First, is anyone here deaf or hard of hearing? Um, my daughter is, Mom. Well, that's lovely. First, let's talk about American Sign Language. It's the main language used by deaf people, and it is vital for the communication with other deaf people and with their families and friends. Many hearing folks think that sign language is a simple set language, but it, that is not true at all. Blah, 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 uh-oh. Sign language is quite different from spoken English. It's a very rich language, a very complex language language my hearing aid batteries are running down why don't i remember to ever remember to bring extra batteries so we'll be learning the basics of this very complex language phew lip reading is hard without sound let's start with the alphabet here's a hey i know that that's a i guess she's the she's teaching the alphabet hmm. 30 long and silent minutes later, it, the class finally ends. I lip read my mother saying, what did you think I say? How do I know? My hearing aid batteries ran, ran, ran down. And then mom says, see, maybe sign language could be useful after all. Me saying, I don't think so. Every Thursday night, I find myself back in the dumb old classroom. Here's thank you. Cece, thank you for being my friend. Um, yeah. Here's a fun one. Giraffe. These cute anim these animal signs are so cute. Try one. Hmm. Elephant. Okay. Let's partner up and ask each other how she feels. How am I feeling? Take a wild guess. How are you feeling? 
I can't believe that my own mother can't see that I am absolutely miserable. Just try it, Father. Please. Come on, T.C., you can do it, Father. It's real easy. See, Father. Arr! Goodness, T.C. Everyone's just hoping that you'll participate more. Next week, please join us. Oh, you'll see how fun it is, okay? How will I ever get out of this? So what? I haven't been participating. Mom totally makes up for it. She loves to sign. Mom, can I have the last banana? Yes. Can I please use Dad's X-Acto knife? No. Mom, can I? Wait. Toilet? Mom, no. Oh, it's almost time for our class time. No more classes. Our hero, the mighty Aldefo, has a most worthy opponent, her own mother. How can Aldefo free herself from the shackles of this weekly humiliation? Do you need to tinkle before I lock these handcuffs for good? Please, mighty mom, stop signing at me. Our hero unleashes her powers of persuasion. Oh, mighty mom, can you not see that I'm able to talk to you right now without using my hands? When you're so cute, when you, you're so cute when you beg. How does she do that? This vicious feedback squeal will hypnotize you. And you'll forget all about the dumb class. That doesn't, that sound doesn't bother me at all. Rats, my new mom is amazing. Enraged, El Defo busts out of the handcuffs and unfurls her torpedo like wrath into her own mother. Kapow! Ow. Okay, okay, you've made your point. We're going home. Did I really do that? What in the world was that all about? Oh, mom, I'm sorry, but I hate that class. Everybody's... Everybody signing at me like I already know sign language just because I'm deaf. No one's signing at you. They're trying to sign with you to help you. Well, I hate it. And as for all, and as far as helping, it'll help people stare at me. It's what it'll do. Look at this deaf girl. Isn't she special? Well, you are special, Mom. Just like every kid is special. Oh, good grief. Mom thinks special means great or cool. If not... Special means you're not like me. You're weird. I hate that word. Listen, we don't have to continue the class. Just don't be so hard on the people who try to help you. Someday you might actually want their help. Phew. We stop for a tree on the way home, and then, believe it or not, we see a couple arguing in sign language. That is amazing. I could have learned how to do that if I had participated, and maybe I should have. But then other people would stare at me the way I'm staring at that couple, right? Well, why do I even care what other people think? 10. As I ride the bus home from school one day, I realize just how many kids on my kids live on my street. We practically fill up the whole bus, but not one of them is in my grade. David, third grade, Joe, third grade, Helen, fifth grade, from a different neighborhood, from a different neighborhood, Blake, third grade, Susie, the fifth grade, Tris, first grade, Dan, second grade, Johnny, third grade, Martha, third grade, Matt, fifth grade, Catherine, first grade, Jimmy, third grade, me, fourth grade, Blake, third grade. There had been a girl in my class, and we watched the monkeys at her house after school sometimes, but she moved away. The other kids on the street are nice, though, especially the older ones. They often include me in their games and stuff. Hey, we're playing kickball when we get home. Want to play? But I think they've been told to be nice to the deaf kid. And anyway, I've always seemed to ruin those games here. Oh, da ba, come on. Ga, woo, oh, it. Uh, thanks, but I have a lot of homework. Oh, okay. Kickball, ha. I'm going to do what I usually do after school. Watch TV. Cece, it's Jenny. She wants to know if you'd like to come over. Uh, no, thanks. Tell her I'm busy. Jenny, uh... CC is kind of busy today. Uh, tell your mom hi f for me, okay? Bye. You haven't seen Ginny in ages. What's going on? Did you have a fight? Kinda. Want to talk about it? Not really. Well, I'm sorry about that. I don't appreciate lying to your friend, so I suggest you hurry up and get busy. I'm relieved that I don't have to get together with Ginny. I guess I could play some kickball with the kids down the street or not. I don't know what to do. Sigh. Somehow, being alone is easier for me. 
but it still felt lonely. Oh, whoa! What I need is a sidekick. There's that third grader, Martha. I wonder why she's not playing with the others. She, she usually does. Hey, Pop. Um, Obi, Dada, hold. Um, hold on a minute. I think she wants me to come over. Mom, the kid across the street, Martha. I think she wants me to come over. Can I? I knew going outside would do you good, but let me watch you across the street. Gee, does your mom really have to watch you across the street? Aren't you in fourth grade? I'm in third, and my mom doesn't do that. That's just my mom for ya,、yeah, I guess. Huh? Well, anyway, fancy meeting you here. Did you like that? My mom says it all the time. Fancy meeting you here. I'm making dirt soup. Want to help? Uh, sure. This here dirt soup makes me think of a little house on the prairie. Do you watch that show? I love that show. Hey, let's pretend that we're Little House on the Prairie. Do you want to be Mary or Laura? Can I be Laura? Yeah, I'd be Mary. Whoa, that scarlet fever did a number on me. John Boy, that you? Ha ha ha! John Boy, he he, Martha. I mean Mary. You're in the wrong show. What if Mary ended up on Star Trek or something? Beam me back to the prairie, Scotty. He he ha ha ha. You know it's Friday now. You should ask your mom if you can spend the night. I was thinking the exact same thing. Yay! My mom said yes to the sleepover. I started packing and I started thinking too. Martha is so funny. I'm actually glad she's not in my grade because if she was, she'd see my giant hearing aid and those cords coming out of my ears. She know I was deaf, but she doesn't know because she hasn't. She hasn't noticed my behind the ear aids. Well, I think she hasn't noticed. I mean, she doesn't shout at me. She's not bossy either. She doesn't shout at me or try to move her mouth all funny or try to sign at me. She's not bossy either. No way am I gonna let her find out. It might ruin everything. Oh, we're going to have so much fun tonight! Yay! We are going to have so much fun tonight. I was just thinking the exact same thing. Inside Martha's house, Mom. This is Cece. Fancy meeting you here. That's my dad. Really dreamy. And here are my loony sisters. Protect me, Mom. Dad's picking up long jong, long jong silvers, and we're eating in front of the TV. A TV supper, really? Yeah. What would you like Dad to order for you? A mumble apple or a ish abba? Uh, I better. I better pretend that I know what she said. Uh, I have what you're having. Okay, two fish com- suppers coming right up. Fish egg. Well, at least Martha doesn't suspect anything different about me. We have a great time. We eat. I better laugh so she'll think she understands. We play. Hey, you with the face. How much for these teeny peas? And by the way, there's a tiny spill in the aisle three. Those are mine, mine, and we run all over the house. Oh, Martha Ann! Ahem, girls, it's way past your bedtime. Uh, well, we can stay up and talk. Can we leave a light on? Sure thing. Look down your shirt and spell attic. A T T I C. Martha Ann. You, you know what we should do tomorrow? We should walk downtown and get candy bars and drinks and stuff, and then we can make. More dirt soup, so sleepy, and so I said, "What is that awful stinking smell?" And she says, "Will that say that、uh, I gotta get some some sleep? Surely she won't notice if I turn off my aids." Ah, sweet silence. Tap tap. Uh oh. I lip read Martha saying, "Did you just turn your hearing aids off me?" Oh no, I've ruined everything. Um, so sorry. Click. Wait, Martha knows about my hearing aids. Oh, that's okay. It's hilarious how you can do that. I wish I could do the same with my sister. I really am sorry, but how did you know that I can't hear very good? Oh, the neighborhood kids told me. So you've known all along? Sure. Huh? Well, here I'll let you sleep now. But Pinky swear that we can do this all the time. Oh yes.、Uh, excuse me, Pop. Uh, I'm here about the ad sidekick wanted. Ah,、uh, yes. So, what are your super powers? Well, I have a total recall of most tel- television shows. I am loyal, brave, and true. And I can make you laugh until you pee in your pants. Well, that does it. You're hired. By the power of the pinky, you s- do you swear to join the fight against boredom and loneliness, and to never swerve sweep- from the path of true friendship? Yes, I do. And this Martha Clayette. 
Creator, by the hand of faith, transform into that most glorious superhero of all, the true friend. So I'm going to stop here. I hope you enjoy my video. Bye!